genetic biology is a form of engineering, basically. And what's different about it from traditional genetic engineering, if we can say it's traditional, is that uh, genetic engineering has been done in the past by biologists. And around the turn of this uh, century, people like Drew Endy, who's a civil engineer, came in and said, well, why don't we actually use engineering strategies to make biology more predictable and uh, standardizable and make it into a true engineering discipline. And by doing that, we can make biology better, we can make it easier to engineer. And that's how I got interested from a, from a design perspective, was suddenly listening to what I just saw as scientists talking about designing biology. And they were talking about making it into a kind of a rational material system. And they were using metaphors from computer science and things like abstraction as a way to actually talk about DNA as a programming code to be able to make stuff. And the whole point was that it was going to be really easy to do. So this was around 2008 that I, I first learned about it. And it was going to be like plug and play parts and anyone would be able to design anything. And that's when I got interested. So I sort of began to think, well, what will they be designing? What will good design mean? Who gets to decide? And what will designers be doing if engineers and biologists are now designers? And that's kind of how I began to get interested in synthetic biology, because there wasn't really a definition for design. So synthetic biologists, you know, they say they want to make fuel, they want to make new kinds of materials, they want to make medicines, they want to make kind of unknown other things. And in a way you have suddenly have this whole kind of space opened up where design can get involved. But at the same time, what was exciting for me, and I think still is really exciting, is that we kind of get to define what design means in that space. So what does it mean to design a living thing? Um, I, I don't know the answer. I think it's, it's different to what's come before. And you know, are we just sort of designing materials that are living, or are they dead, or are, they, are you using biology as a manufacturing kind of factory to make stuff that, um, you know, I think there, there aren't any clear sort of um, answers. And that's what's really exciting for designers, is that it's a space to actually explore these questions that comes back to actually, well, what is it to design stuff? And what is it to be kind of transforming matter into new things? And for me, that gets down to the question of what is design. And that's why it's kind of been such an interesting space to explore.